Okay, so in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to actually start up the SunPath module. So if you go to add-ons, user preferences, add-ons, architecture, uh, start up the ODS SunPath module there. And it creates two menus. Uh, one is in the right-hand side panel of the 3D viewport. At the very bottom there's this new panel here called SunPath. You can move it around to wherever you like. And if you expand it out, click on the draw button. And what it will do is it will draw a sun path in here. And you can still continue to work just like normal inside the Blender interface. You can tab into objects and move around. Um, but it just has a sun path in there. Now you can uh, toggle various features. You can actually flatten the sun path to bring it down to a two-dimensional diagram like that. You can click on this to make it equidistant. There. Like that. Um, you can uncheck it to make it back up to a normal uh, 3D uh, view. You can see the time down here in the lower right hand corner which is 0015, that's 15 minutes past midnight in the morning and it's synchronized with the timeline here along the bottom. So you can actually see if you go left and right, I'm pressing the left and right button, you can actually move forwards and backwards in time as here 8 o'clock, 8.15 and so on. You can also change the radius of it, 5 meters, make it a small sun path, or you can make it 20 meters, or whatever size you want it to be. Um, you can also change its location, so that's going to move it 5 meters in the y direction and center it over there. Or you can make it um, another 5 meters in the x direction, and there we are, over there. You can also um, choose to draw various components of it, so you can turn on and off the concentric circles in the middle. Uh, you can actually turn on and off the sun path as a whole. And you can even turn on and off showing the time in the lower right hand corner. Um, other aspects such as the location and time zone are controlled through the scene menu. If you want to get rid of all of these, don't forget that you can always just do skin interface and it gets rid of a lot of the unnecessary menus for you. And here, this is the other panel that's created in the scene menu. You can actually enter in your building latitude. So you can go minus 50. And that will change the sun path. Or if you're closer to the equator, you can go minus 5. And that's 5 degrees south. You can also change your longitude to, say, 90. Uh, and so on. Uh, if you're in the northern hemisphere, obviously, enter positive numbers. 10 degrees. There you go. Uh, similarly, you can um, change the actual uh, north angle. Uh, so you can actually rotate your sun path here 30 degrees. And there you go. That's if you have sight rotation turned on. So you might draw aligned with the xy axis but have sight rotation. Um, and you can also change your time steps here in time steps per hour. That changes the stepping size of the time down here. So if you set that to 60, you'll go actually in one minute increments along the bottom, as you can see. Let's move that so you can actually see it a bit. 48, 50, and so on. So time steps per hour. All right, so that's how you actually set up and visualize the sun path.